Today I've got a pretty simple video. We're going to be talking about the DeWalt random orbital sander and we're going to talk about how to set it up with a shop vac. So this sander comes with a little dust bag on the back, but if you've used it for any extensive period of time, you'll realize that while this does capture some dust, it doesn't do a great job. So one of the best things you can do to reduce the dust is to set it up with a shop vac. So the first thing you're gonna need is a flex coupling from Fernco. Uh, I have a inch and a quarter by inch and a half. And this is what it looks like right here. And this is maybe like six or seven dollars and you would just find this generally in the plumbing section. So the next thing you're gonna need that is also from the plumbing section is a inch and a half 90 degree street PVC elbow. Make sure you get the one that has this little part here on one side and the kind of outer portion on the other side. I'm not a plumbing expert, so I don't know the exact terminology, but make sure you get that one because that is the size that you need to do what you need to do. If you get the other one, it's gonna be a little bit too big. And finally, I think this came with my shop vac. If not, it may have came with a car cleaning kit that I got, but this is a two and a half inch to two and a half inch adapter from Bridget, and this is going to be the third piece that you need. All right, so let's take a look at how you actually put this together. So it's pretty simple. The first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is just go ahead and take the little dust bag off of your sander. Next, you are going to fit the small end, the inch and a quarter end, onto that back part of the sander. Now, once you've got that on there, you can just go ahead and use a flathead screwdriver and you can tighten down those uh, little screws on the clamp there. And then on the other side, you're going to put the smaller end of the elbow, the PVC elbow, into that. And then you can go ahead and tighten down the clamp there as well. And finally, you're going to get your two and a half inch to two and a half inch adapter and you're just gonna slide that right over the PVC and it should fit pretty nice and snug. And then you can just connect your shop vac to that two and a half inch by two and a half inch piece and you are good to go. So that's all there really is to it guys. It's nothing super complicated, just a couple of simple pieces that you can get from a plumbing store or hardware store. And I personally didn't use glue on mine, but you definitely can. But it all fit together pretty snug for me. I haven't had any issues with it. So one thing that I do want to make sure to mention is the elbow is great if you have your shop vac hose coming from the ceiling. I've seen some people have kind of like a boom arm that hangs over their workbench. So it's really convenient for that. Or if you have um, another setup where you're trying to push the hose out to the side. If you want it going straight out the back, it maybe isn't the most convenient. But they do have some other similar adapters that are straight that you could get from your plumbing store as well that would work just fine and are the same size and shape. And the way that you can test it out while you're at the store, what I did, if, if you have to, but hopefully, you know, the point of this video is to save you the time of having to do this, but you can just go back and forth between the aisles and make sure the pieces fit together. Um, thankfully, this is all from the plumbing section, so you can just test it out there. And if you're trying to find a, a straight piece, just look for a straight piece that fits right in here, just like that and you should be good. So like I said guys, pretty simple video today, but I hope that you found it helpful and if you did, please make sure to like and subscribe to the channel because I've got a lot more great content coming as far as woodworking and stuff for your workshop and I'm also going to be doing a dust collector build uh, coming up pretty soon. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a great day.